Okay, today we've uh, had a follow-up meet to the big July meet that we had for Exocultural Partnerships um, and we had a very stimulating morning and we've uh, welcomed two new members to the group. Um, one of them is Jay. From yeah, Exeter yeah, City Football Club and we're, we've, we've been on the periphery of this group but it's the first chance I've really had to come to a meeting and I'm very encouraged about the, the coordination between the cultural partnership within Exeter and how the football club and our football and the community people can get involved in the overall culture of Exeter. Um, so this morning we spent a lot of time talking about what we wanted to move forward with from the July meeting um, and one of those things was working towards, strategy is not the right word, but it's a, a document of sorts which says who we are, validates our leadership, makes some promises about what we're going to do um, and brings over culture, so we've talk, taken a bit of a turn now, so we've got sport on board as well, so we're looking at culture. Um, since July things that have happened, um, a really good thing that came out of the meeting, people really enjoyed the networking and the collaborating, get together meeting, a lot of things have come out of that, a lot of um, possibilities have come forward. Most importantly, the pop-up events have still continued to go on um, and out of today they will continue to go forward, they might change shape possibly, but they will still be happening. Um, Hopefully they'll we'll pick up a few new venues then we'll pop up meetings as well and yes. get some ideas of how additional cultural activities might uh, form the whole and we might be able to bring that into some alternative venues. Yes, yeah. Um, other than that, this afternoon we've spent some time thinking about events and where the project can go in 2012. We have some very big events coming up, um, opening university forum and um, RAM, and just really starting to get an idea that once we've got these plans down on paper about who we are um, and what we're doing, it's then the action. Um, which is getting everybody energised and following through on that promise to empower and engage. Um, secondary to that, um, we had discussions about the Ning and using the Ning. Um, we've decided that we're going to start possibly a monthly newsletter, if people like it, um, and bring sport on board as well, the community aspect, to get them involved, um, get pe people talking about the Ning again, and possibly as well get it out there to the greater community. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Certainly we want to publicize our activities within the cultural partnership and our association with it. So maybe some of our uh, members and some of our fans and followers who aren't aware of the extra cultural partnership will uh, will now be. And not just the football club. So we are talking about sport in general. Though, you know, I do represent the football club. There's a lot of other sporting activity and some other very popular sports within the city that hopefully will, will increase their involvement. How can other sports organisations get involved now? I think through through Val and through if if anybody who's who's seeing this now on the Ning has contacts, by all means have them get in touch, uh, have them sign up to the Ning, maybe post some comments themselves, and you know I'm sure they'll be very welcome as I was today, and and they'll be able to establish those contacts maybe through just signing up to this forum now.